Hello everyone, today we will build an application using Superbase as our database. For those who do not know what Superbase is, Superbase basically is an open source library that is very similar to Firebase because it has features like authentication, storage, real-time updates for your data when it changes. The single difference between them is that Superbase is an SQL database and Firebase is not an SQL database, so it's a no SQL database or SQL, however you want to pronounce it. Okay, so this will be the app that we are going to build is a simple list of cafe. And if we click on this, we'll show a simple description and the name and an image. So click on this. And as you can see, we have the image, the description and the name. So let's jump on their website to start a project. I already tested it, but let's create a new project for now. And let's put the name super app database password. And I hope I think, okay, I can't, I need to really write a password for this. Okay. Create new project. The project is setting up. So let's wait a couple of seconds until it finishes. Until it's finished, I would love to see some good ideas for the future videos in the comments. Thank you and cheers with the coffee. Also, do you use sugar in your coffee or syrup? Or do you prefer it to be like with nothing? Oh, okay, it finished. Okay, now let's use the table editor and let's create a new table. The table name, let's say it will be a uh, cafe. And we don't need the description. The row level security, I would disable that because if I don't do that, the real time will not work. So confirm. Also enable real time. And here we need to have an ID, a name. So this is a name and this will be a string. I can't search, so let's find it here text add another column a description and an image link so let's make this text this is also a text now let's hit on save and we are good to go wait a couple of seconds until the table is created okay now we need to insert some data so click on insert insert row now let's put a name so let's say barista cafe description a very cozy place to drink uh, coffee oops and this will be the image and i will create another one and i will come back soon okay so i added the second cafe and now let's go into android studio before building the application make sure that you have these added in your libs versions.toml so these versions and these dependencies and let's go into build.grader.kts and in the plugins, make sure that you have the plugin serialization. And here, make sure that you edit this. And in the build.grader.kts from the Superbase app from the project, make sure that you have the JVM and the plugin serialization. As you know, we have a table of contents, and this row is basically a class, a data class in our application. So let's create it. So go here, data class, cafe, vol ID is an integer, vol name is a string, description, and the last one is the image. Now we need to create a Superbase client in our app. So let's say Superbase client is equal with create Superbase client. And this will have a super base key and the super base URL. And now open the curly brackets. And here we need to install plugins like the real time. So let's say install real time. Let's also install post gra rest. Okay. And the last but not least, HTTP config this dot install web socket. Okay. And opt in for the main activity. Okay. So Real-time will fetch the data in real-time from the database, of course. And we also need to use the HTTP config to install WebSockets because I 
tested it out and without this it wouldn't work now in order to get the super base key and the super base url you have to go into the database and go to home scroll down a little bit and here you will find the required data for your project so copy the project url paste it here and copy the api key and put it here in case you want to use my key and the url it won't work because i will delete the database after this video so you have to use yours okay so i noticed that i created this super base in the on create method but i want to make it public for the whole class because i will create some functions here so let's start with uh, get cafe list open the parentheses and put an equals now let's say super base client from table name is cafe now let's say select and now we need to say the code list and pass the type of the list and this is cafe and what is the problem here oh i forgot to make this suspend i'm sorry okay so if you want to fetch the data in real time we need to create a separate function for that so say fun and this will return a flow of data so say get cafe list real time and equals super base client from cafe is the table name and select as flow and now we need to pass the primary key of our class so cafe and we pass the id and we also need to opt in for this so let's say for the main.kt so let's create a screen so let's say comp and cafe list remove the modifier because we don't need it and we have to pass on cafe click and we get the id return unit okay now let's create a list of cafes so cafe list and this will be by remember mutable state of and let's put the list of cafe and this will be an empty list by default let's import the required things and now in order to fetch the data we'll launch uh, we'll use the launch effect the key will be true and here we say cafe list is equal with get cafe list or if you want to use the real time you need to say get cafe list real time and put a collect and for each value emitted so let's say list and cafe list is equal with list let's keep it like that go down here and create a lazy column and inside we'll pass the cafe list open the brackets look at the bracket and let's get the cafe now let's go here and say content padding padding values values let's say horizontal is 16 dp and vertical is 10 dp let's also add some spacing between the items so let's say arrangement spaced by 10 dp now inside of now here we need to create a separate composable called cafe card and this will get a cafe and the on click is unit now let's create a box so let's say modifier modifier dot fill max width let's put this on a new line height is 300 dp rounded oh let me say clip rounded corner shape is 20 dp and the clickable is on click and pass down click here let's open the curly brackets and let's also say content alignment alignment dot center now in order to display the network image we'll use the async image from coil so model is cafe image the content description is null let's put this on a new line let's say modifier is equal to modifier dot film max size and the content scale is content scale dot crop now let's create another box and this will be on top of our image and this will be modifier match parent size and this will basically add a gray layout to the a gray overlay sorry to our image 
So let's say match parent size and background will be a color of black and copy and we'll change the alpha and this means that we, change, we are changing the opacity of the color to 0.4f. Okay and now we need to display the cafe name so let's say cafe name and let's style this a little font weight is bold font size 36 sp and let's say the color is white now let's go up here and pass the cafe card pass the cafe and remove the curly brackets from here and add the parameter on click inside and now we need to say on cafe click and pass the cafe.id now put the cafe list here to see how it looks so remove this and put on cafe click and let it empty okay so as you can see we have the cafes here and this is barista cafe and brew coffee break now in order to complete the application we need to create the cafe details screen and before doing that let's go down here and let's say suspend fun get cafe by id and here we will pass the id open the well, we don't need actually we simply say equals and say super base client from and pass cafe select columns and here we need to say columns list and let's pass the columns so id name description and the image now open the curly bracket and inside we need to say filter and here we need to say cafe and put the id eq and pass the id and this means if the cafe matches the our cafe id and below that we need to say decode single and pass the type and this is a cafe now we are good to go and let's create the comp cafe detail cafe details and let's remove these and we need to say cafe id and pass an integer now let's create a separate variable for a cafe so by remember mutable state of uh, nullable cafe and by default is null and now we need to use the launch effect to fetch the data so key is true and now let's say uh, get cafe by id and pass the id is equal with cafe id and the cafe is equal with that now let's create the ui so let's say column and inside we'll have a box let's put this modifier on a new line and let's say modifier dot filmx width put this on a new line and say height of 240 dp now we need to round that at the bottom corner so let's say clip rounded corner shape but we need to say top uh, sorry bottom start and this will be 20 dp and the uh, bottom and 20 dp and the last thing we have to say here is alignment dot center and open the curly brackets and inside we'll use the async image to fetch the image so let's say model cafe and pass the image this also accepts nullable values so we don't have to pass a default value for that now let's say modifier fill max size and the content scale is crop now we need to display the name and the description so let's create another column and let's say cafe name and put a default value here of an empty string let's make this font weight bold and let's also increase the font size to, the font size to 32 sp and below that we need to say cafe description put an empty value for it now let's also increase the size of it so font size is 18 sp now we will create some serializable classes that we'll use to navigate with type safety 
And if you're interested in learning more about that, you have a card with a link to a video in which I'm explaining this in details. So let's create a data object. And this is our first screen, so cafe list screen and annotate this with serializable and the second screen will be cafe details screen and this takes on cafe id so ball cafe id which is an integer annotate this oops, with serializable now let's go here and let's remove the cafe list and let's create the nav controller so nav controller is equals with remember nav controller, create the nav host, pass the nav controller, the start destination will be the cafe list, oops, cafe list screen, and here we will create the composable. So let's say cafe list screen, and here create the cafe list, and on cafe click we get the cafe id and now we need to say nav controller navigate and pass the screen so cafe details screen and add the argument here so cafe id is equal with cafe id and the second screen is composable cafe detail uh, cafe detail screen yeah and Let's say all args is equal with it to route and let's say cafe details screen. Now go down here and say cafe details and use the args to get the cafe ID. Now let's run the application to see if the navigation is okay. Okay, so let's click on the brew coffee break and this is how it looks and it works perfectly. And let's also create some additional methods that you it will be useful to you to know how to use them so let's go down here so let's say that we want to insert a cafe so insert cafe and we need to pass a cafe open the curly brackets and say superbase client from and pass the table name is cafe and now we need to simply say insert Cafe. What if we want to delete a cafe? So let's say suspend fun, delete cafe and pass the cafe and superbase client from cafe and we need to say delete and inside we need to make a filter that deletes our cafe from the database if the cafe ID matches the ID so uh, dot cafe dot ID. If you don't know what absurd is, absurd basically means if an item is not in the database, add it, and if it is in the database, update it with the new values. So let's say sub suspend fun, and let's say absurd cafe, and pass the cafe here. Open the curly brackets, and to do that is very simple. So we have to say super base client cafe and we need to simply say absurd cafe and the last function that we will write is the update one and say suspend fun update cafe pass the cafe of course and say super base client from cafe and now we need to say update and inside we basically create somehow a dictionary or a json model you know, let's say uh, as a comparison and here we need to say set and we are setting the column to a specific value so let's say the name is equal to the cafe name let's set description by the cafe description and the last one is image with the cafe image and now let's open the brackets here too and we need to say filter and we need to say the cafe that matches our cafe ID. So cafe.id. So that's it. These are the methods that are very used. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And make sure to subscribe and like this video for more content like this. See you soon.